In my view, no one should be able to go through the Crawford School without having to grapple with the big questions around such fundamental issues as economic growth, inequality, and the environment. We should also help you produce policy advice that's both technically sound and politically attractive, and to write in a way that is convincing and succinct and well-structured. And that's why we make Crawford 8000 a compulsory course. First of all, in the lectures, we tackle those big questions. Why do some countries grow faster than others? Why are so many countries experiencing higher levels of in income inequality? And what should they do about it? Are we destroying the environment? And how can we reduce the amount of environmental damage? Uh, in the lectures that I'll be giving, I won't be giving you a single and definitely not a simple answer to those questions, but I'll be exposing you to the best and the latest thinking in relation to them. We also bring in guest lecturers, some of the biggest, uh, most influential policy advisors and thinkers from Australia and the broader region so that you can benefit from their perspectives. And then the second part of the course revolves around case papers. We ask you to apply those big ideas to some very difficult, if not intractable, real world case problems. So for example, what can Thailand a successful developer, but a country beset now by political instability, what can Thailand do to avoid the middle income trap? Why has America seen increasing inequality and what should it do about it? What can Singapore do to reduce the amount of haze being blown at it from forest fires in Indonesia? We have class discussions where we invite you and we, we help you to relate those big ideas to those concrete real world problems. And then we ask you to produce policy advice for the Prime Minister of Thailand, the President of America, the Government of Singapore, in relation to those problems that we've been discussing. So, you not only have to think big, you have to apply these big ideas to some pretty tricky real world problems. I look forward to seeing you in the classroom. I've got to say, this is my favorite course to teach and I hope it becomes one of your favorites as well.